Today is October the 27th. Does God punish us with natural disasters? Let's find out together as we read Joel 2. So as Joel begins the second chapter of his verse, the first two verses say, Sound the alarm in Jerusalem, raise the battle cry on my holy mountain. Let everyone tremble in fear because the day of the Lord is upon us. It's a day of darkness and gloom, a day of thick clouds and deep blackness. Suddenly, like dawn spreading across the mountains, a great and mighty army appears. Nothing like it has been seen before or will ever be seen again. Joel describes the invading army, and in verse 11, at the end of this section, he says, The Lord is at the head of the column. He leads them with a shout. This is his mighty army. The army of the Lord is a phrase that does occur in the Old Testament. It's relatively frequent. Um, in Joshua chapter 5, verse 14, the night before Israel invades Palestine, Joshua finds a man standing outside the camp of Israel. And he draws his sword and says, Who are you? Are you a friend or an enemy? And it's very interesting. It was the angel of the Lord probably a theophany, and he says, I'm neither friend nor foe. I am the commander of the Lord's army. In Hebrew, I am Yahweh Sabaoth, the commander of the hosts, the Lord of hosts. It's not whether I'm on your side, it's whether you're on my side, Joshua. Joshua takes off his sandals and falls and worships. This phrase, the Lord of hosts, occurs at the beginning of Samuel and it appears that this is Samuel's preferred name for God, the Lord of hosts. Even Samuel's mother, Hannah, goes to worship and make a sacrifice to the Lord of hosts. This is David's preferred term for God. 2 Samuel 7.26, who is the God of Israel? The Lord of hosts is his name. 1 Kings 18.5, this is the prophet Elijah's preferred name for God. Before he goes to confront the 450 prophets of Baal, he says, I am the prophet of the Lord of hosts. Isaiah uses the term Lord of Hosts 60 times, Jeremiah 85 times, and even in the short 14 chapter book of Zechariah, 55 times he talks about the Lord of Hosts. So here, in Joel chapter 2, Verse 11, the Lord is at the head of the column. He leads his army of locusts with a shout. This is his mighty army. We started this devotional with the question, does God punish us with natural disasters? And the answer to that question is yes and no. God does not actually punish us with natural disasters. But God does allow the result of sin to take place among us. Now, it might not be our sin. It might go all the way back to Adam. When Adam sinned, evil was released in the world. God allows evil to have its way, and sometimes 
evil has its way with us. In that sense, yes, God allows this to happen. Is it direct punishment for our sin? No, I don't think so. But it is the result of evil in the world. Again, are bad things happening to you? Take them to the Lord. Confess to Him your emotions and ask Him for His deliverance. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Tomorrow, we'll ask the question, is the God of the Old Testament a warrior God?